Hey, what's going on guys? Well, this review is going to be on the little micro or pocket stove from everbuying.com. This is stove number one. The very first thing I want to do is weigh this stuff because what's really important to people who do hiking and backpacking and walking on trails and camping is weight. Um, some people focus more on it than others, but I think everyone has an understanding that, you know, the more weight you add, the more fatigued you're going to get carrying all this crap. So I want to quickly weigh this for you. This is a new canister. This is the fuel source for this little propane tank. So I'm going to weigh these separately so you know what the entire system would be. Because obviously this can weigh nothing, but you need this. So we're going to weigh both. So let me get this back to zero. I'm going to weigh in ounces. So the stove in the container weighs 3.87 ounces with the fuel source, which is going to weigh 9.67 ounces. So, now that we know what the weight is, let me show you how this thing works, tell you all about it, and tell you what my experiences with it has been. First off, I like the case. Very simple plastic case. It, it will dent in, it won't break easily. Um, there's ridges on the cap and on the body. So it basically kind of just press fits together and stays there. Um, had no problems with it. I haven't um, carried this. I haven't like backpacked with it or anything. So I didn't actually get to uh, see what it would be like as far as crush resistance. But I can tell you, once I take this out, even with it empty, it's not going to crush very easily. It does give, which I like. The plastic gives a little bit, so it's not going to crack or break easily. All right, and it's just convenient, and of course, being bright orange is very good because any kind of important piece of gear, if your bag opens up, things go flying, who knows what, what the situation is. You want to be able to easily see it, especially if you're looking through your bag at night. This may stand out a little bit more. So, I like the case. The case is good to go. As far as the stove, this is what it looks like. It's a little uh, pocket stove. Um, folds up nice and small, as you can see. It's very, very simple in design. Um, there's a lot of different stoves like this. Uh, this particular one, they're all going to have their pros and cons. Um, first, let me show you how it works. You pull this down. This is your adjustment valve. Okay, This is how you turn your gas on and off. And obviously, the more you turn this, it's opening up the valve more, which is allowing more gas to go through and therefore a higher flame once it's lit. All right, but this obviously bends up to be compact. You just kind of unfold it like that. Then the little arms, you swing out, and there's four of them. All right, these act as the base, whatever you're cooking with your pot or container goes on top of this okay once you fold them out there's little prongs these will also extend out now something to note real quick when I first got this they were all loose and floppy and I didn't like that it made a lot of noise so what I did was I took my multi-tool and pinched the rivet down to make it tighter um, in doing so it is tighter but I think I tighten them too much because it's a little bit difficult to open these especially after you cook it and the metal fluctuates I mean you can see obviously it's kind of heat anodized just from being used. But this one in particular, I tighten too tightly and it's a pain. You're not going to get it like that. You're going to get these. They're going to be flopping around. They flop very easily open and closed. You may want to keep it like that for the ease of use. Or you may want to tighten them just not as much as I did this one. So, yeah, kind of a pain. But uh, anyway, um, that's just a personal thing that I did. It's not going to come like that. So once you open these up, obviously it extends your base so you can put something larger, whatever you happen to be cooking, will sit on there. All right. You have an electric starter on the side. Okay. This works exactly the same as an electric lighter. It's literally the same thing. It creates a spark. Um, same thing when you have an electric starter on your grill. Um, by pushing this button or compressing this down, you have a spark that goes onto your burner. Okay. Let me get that focused. So as you release gas, you open up the valve, gas will come through your burner, and then the spark will ignite it. Um, but this particular model, this igniter is not reliable. The other two stoves, they work fine. Every single time I click it, it ignites. This one, for some reason, gives me some problems. What helps me is when I push it in. If I physically turn it, and I'm going to give you a demo of this in a second. When I push this inward, it gets it closer to the center, and it seems to work a little bit better. Um, the other thing that I don't like about this is that, and I'll show you this once it's connected, is that it's the valve inside or the, the O-ring or seal or whatever's in there. Um, it's not super tight. So what happens sometimes is if the gas is on low, 
I'll get spurts of gas. It'll go, it'll be on low, you know, tss, but it'll go, pff, 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 almost like it flames up because it's allowing more, more gas to come through sporadically. Um, I don't like it. It doesn't, it's not a big deal, but it shouldn't be that way. So I think that the seal is not completely tight on this. So those are really the downsides uh, on this small one. The pros on this is the base has some knurling and actually has something to hold on to, whereas the other ones really don't. Um, at least the second one in this size. So when I'm screwing this on, I actually have a nice surface area with knurling to grip, okay? But the easiest thing to do, obviously, is to turn the uh, fuel tank as opposed to the, the stove itself. But I like that, it's a little bit of a pro. So I wanna make sure it's nice and snug on there. The other uh, advantage, which I liked about this one, is that the burner is designed to go straight up. And again, comparing to stove number two, I think this is a much better design um, because the heat is directed directly on the bottle. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how long it took to, uh, to boil some water in a clean canteen, 27 ounces. So, well, we'll, we'll see that at the end of the video. But I just wanna mention that I do like this burner design a lot. All right, so here is, this is how it functions. I'm going to allow, allow the gas to come through. You gotta hear it hissing. Then I'm going to start it. There we go. All right, so let me shut this off and do that again. You'll notice that when I first clicked it, it wasn't igniting. So then I tried pushing it forward, but the problem is my finger was up here by the metal, so it didn't, it didn't send a spark through the burner, it sent a spark through my finger. I can feel myself getting pinched or, you know, zapped by it. So I have to hold the metal here and push forward. That's how I get it to ignite uh, consistently. So let's try that again. All right, not a huge deal, but, oh, and that's what I'm talking about with the little spurts. Right now it's on, you know, very low slash medium. And every now and then you'll get a little bit of a spurt of gas. As I turn it up, you can see the flame is directed straight up, just like a butane lighter or something very similar like a torch. This is a very good design. And you'll see, you know, in the demo that I was able to boil water fairly quickly with this. Um, for its size and everything. So I do like that. It is very functional. Obviously turn it up and down. So I'm fond of this particular one. Um, this one again costs $8.46 with free shipping. Um, as far as reliability, because this uh, doesn't spark every single time, uh, I don't want to say that it's the most reliable. Uh, obviously, the electric igniting system is, um, you know, ease of use. You can obviously throw, a, once this, the gas is coming out, you can throw a spark from a kerosene rod on there. Even easier, you can just use a lighter and just literally spark it and put the flame close to get it lit. But you're not supposed to. Worst case scenario, that the electric starter breaks or something or it's just not functional anymore. There are obviously other ways to light this. Um, but it's still a downside to me. It's a, it's a part of the, uh, the stove that should be working, working properly and it doesn't work consistently. So those are really the only hits on this. Um, I'm gonna let this cool down right now. I'm gonna show you the footage of me uh, boiling some water. Well, I'm doing some testing now on these uh, pocket stoves. This is stove number one. <laughs> For all intent purposes, you can refer to my other video to know which one that is, but stove number one here, I'm gonna see how long it takes to boil 27 ounces of water in this clean canteen um, and right now just for reference it is about 30 degrees out okay that could make a difference so I would imagine it would so there you go 30 degrees out let's see how long it takes I'll use the iPhone to, uh, to figure that out so I'm gonna do this on high Up here, set this back and forth a little bit more. Turn my camera up more. Time ready. And start. 
All right, so when this water is boiling, I will get back to you and show you exactly how long it took. It's been two minutes. I just want to show you this. There are some bubbles rising to the top. But, uh, you know, boiling water, I consider actually boiling, not simmering. So I'll get back to you when it's actually boiling. We have a real boil. So at this point, I'm going to turn this off. And the time is just under 10 minutes. All right, now keep in mind we're also doing this in a uh, 27 ounce water bottle with an open top at 30 degrees outside. All right, so my final conclusions on this is I like this stove. Um, the biggest thing to me is that it's not completely reliable. Um, I would definitely not trust this in uh, a situation where I'm going to be traveling very far into the wild. Um, this is more, I would say, of a novelty stove. It will function and it will work. For how long, I don't know. Um, that's the thing. It's, I don't think the quality is almost there, but it's not great because of the fact that I get little spurts of gas in there. I don't know if the seal is going to break and it's not going to work. It's not going to let me adjust. That would not be good and or it can be dangerous. Um, and then obviously the electric igniter is not consistent either. So great product for nine bucks, you know, less than nine dollars. Uh, if you're going to be using this as a, for novelty purposes, you're going to be screwing around in your backyard, maybe making hot chocolate with your kid, um, or if you're doing some very light hiking and this is not the only stove you have with you, yeah, for, for less than 10 bucks of free shipping, I think it's worth getting and playing around with. But if you're serious about your hiking and backpacking and everything else, not, in my opinion, reliable enough to trust your life on, um, not reliable enough to, to go deep into the wilderness and, and hope it works. I would not do that. I don't recommend that. But um, because it is so cheap, it's a cool thing just to have. And you know, there's a lot of different levels of um, people's interest in survival stuff and, and camping stuff. I mean, some people are hardcore about it and other people are just kind of like, you know, it's a, it's a novelty hobby. If it's a novelty hobby for you, don't waste $30, $40 on a really good pocket stove. Get something like this because it's cheap. But if you're serious, again, about it and or your life depends on this kind of stuff, don't skimp out. Okay, pay the 30 or 40 bucks, get a good high quality pocket stove that's going to work for you for years. So that's basically all I can say about this one. It works, but not all that reliable. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.